sure you get your call times for Monday. See you Monday, Leslie. Well, better luck next time, Harry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night, Harry. Good night, guys. Good night. You okay, Harry? Yeah, why? Because you missed the ball? No, I'm okay. We still like your tricks. You know, pretty much. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night, sweetie. Oh, good night. Hey, sorry about the bet. Oh, please. Is that the first 20 bucks I spent on a man? It won't be the last. Try not to miss me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just can't believe it. Why? <laughs> All you had to do is catch a damn ping pong ball on your nose like I haven't seen you do that a million times. You know, it's not as easy as it looks. Oh, please. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You're telling me. Oh, come on, Shadow. Give me a break. Hey, it's not the money. It's the loss of confidence. It's the disillusionment. It's the money. 20 bucks. Oh. Hey, Harry. Here's your 20 bucks. No, no, Patrick, you don't give me the money. See, I, I didn't catch the ball. JC was the one who bet that I couldn't do it, so she won the money. Oh, is that how it works? Well, hey, could you give it to her? I'm uh, already late for my synchronized swimming workout. My partner will start without me. Hi. Hey. Gee, am I the last one out? Looks like it. This is from Patrick. Thank you. <clears throat> that was close in there. You know, you almost caught it. Well, it's hard to miss. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe next time we should use a bowling ball. <laughs> Here, I'm sure that's half. I'm sure that is. Catch you later, Mr. Bray. See you on the midway. <laughs> I still got it. Hey, uh, the Starlight folks will be here for the carnival scenes any time now. We'll be ready. I'm sure you will. Please don't hurt me. Glad you could make it. You know, tonight I'm going to show you what I hope you think are some pretty amazing tricks. I'll be performing in an intimate setting because I want you to get as close to the magic as possible. But even though these folks get to see it live and you're watching at home, you've got to know there are no camera tricks. Well, maybe just this one. But that's it. It's out of my system. No more camera tricks, promise. We can't afford them. Have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harry Anderson. Uh, before we get to the hard stuff, let's uh, let's try something simple. How'd you like to see a trick that uh, that you could do at home, fool your friends, something like that, huh? Would that be fun? Okay, let's start with something like that. Um, what well, would be good? I'll do a money trick. Money tricks are good. I gotta admit though, I'm kind of strapped. <laughs> uh, somebody here, give me a five. Anybody got a five here? Somebody's got a five. <laughs> fella here, fella here's got a five. Okay, I need two of them. <laughs> How about over here? Who's got a five? Anybody? The fella here's got a five. Okay, thank you very much. You're gonna enjoy this. You're gonna be glad you loaned them. Got a five there? Thank you. Okay, thank you. A little something called uh 
Nickels to dime. Nickels to dime. You'll like this. And then I'll show you how to do it and fool your friends. Watch, 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 watch. 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 It's a watch. Watch, watch, watch. Watch, 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 watch. Don't blink now. When you blink, you lose. Here, once. Once, twice. Over, under. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. Don't let me get away with anything. Watch, 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 watch. Whoa! A $10 bill. Clean as a whistle. Thank you both very much. Thank you. You were great sports. Thanks so much for helping out. Thank you very much. What great sports. Maybe you two could, uh, you know, get together in the parking lot later and work that out. You want to learn that? That's a good trick, huh? Would you like to learn it? It's really not that tough. It really is not that tough. All you have to do is you have to go to the magic shop and get one of these. This is a, uh, it's a grappler, a magician's grappler. They're not cheap. It's a professional item, so, you know, you pay a pretty penny for this, but it saves you from having to learn all that sleight of hand stuff. <laughs> And besides, all the professionals now are using these, uh, pretty much David Copperfield, he's got that Statue of Liberty grappler. And, uh, and uh, Siegfried, he's got that Roy grappler. They're, they're pretty much, pretty much all using the grapplers these, these days. Um, now, wait, wait, of course, you load the $10 that you're gonna switch into the grappler, and then, then you're gonna change it for the fives up and down your sleeve. But, but to, to make the grappler work, you need a little misdirection. That's not too tough, though. While you're folding the money, you just get everyone to look at your hands, right? How many times did I say, watch, watch, watch what I'm doing, don't blink? Got all your attention right here. You look in here so intently that you didn't notice that I was able to... <laughs> that I was able to... <laughs> to hook my knees together. You see, you're looking here. You're looking here, you don't notice this, you see? And then, I, while, you're, while you're looking here, I hook my knees together, which, which, which actually went a lot, a lot smoother when I had the misdirection. There, 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 there. Then under the misdirection, you can make the connection, and that way you can get the grappler action going. You see, in exchange. Fool your friends. Have fun. Try it at home. Pants on. Harry will be right back. The fact is, for every couple of dozen eight-year-olds you will meet, there will be one who on a Sunday afternoon decides he'll never throw a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. So he either picks up juggling or he tries out ventriloquism or he learns this trick. It's not much, but it is impossible. Here. Ready here. Take those rings, look at them, examine them, see that they are linked, and wonder how that happened. Look at this ring, look all around it. Do you see a hole anywhere in that ring? There's one in the middle, ha! <laughs> Have we ever had this much fun? Ring, ring, ring. Would somebody get that? I'm busy. <laughs> Whoa, ho, oh. ho. Oh. Not bad for an old timer, here. Take them, look at them, pull them apart. How tough can it be? Yeah. Come on down, come on down. Come on down, join me, hi. You're in pretty much the same predicament. Do as I do, if you can. Look for the soft spot, check one ring. If you don't find the soft spot, check the other ring. When you have found the soft spot, then grab the ring opposite the soft spot, Twist, pull, and separate. Again, find the soft spot, flip, pull, link, and hold them like this. You're very good! <laughs> Holy moly, you're fast. Get out of here, you're showing me up. How did you do, how did you do? How did you get them apart? Ah, oh, they're still together, huh? You should have watched her, she's very good. Here, give me that. Give me that. There are lots of pretty moves with the rings. This is a... A very pretty one. Here we are. The ladder. Watch this. Ooh. Ooh. 
Isn't that pretty? The finale. With one... I've been in tougher spots than this. With one simple move. My mom says I'm special. <laughs> the rings. I had learned the rings by the time I turned nine. I tried to learn magic everywhere I could. Card fanning. Ooh, very tough. Years of practice. I didn't have that kind of time. <laughs> But it is remarkable what a kid can pick up hanging around a pool hall. Watch this, I like this, watch this, whoa. Now watch close, guys, come on in. I don't want you to miss this one. Look, it's very pretty. There they are and there it is, whoa. Like yeah. Well, learning magic is fun, but eventually you have to make a living. And it used to be a magician could make a living on the street in cities like New Orleans and San Francisco and Austin, Texas. I did magic for years on the street. Actually, I paid my bills with a little gambling game called a Monty. It's a little game of hanky-poo, two for me and one for you. Hey, diddle diddle, it's the one in the middle. Which one is it now, which one? Huh? No, you're wrong, and I have to tell you I'm disappointed because I really tried to make it easy for you. Now, you know... You know... Three balls, three cups. Well, this has got to be a snap. You've got one ball for each cup. You can't lose. Every guess is good, right? Well, don't bet on it. You know... There really are rules for the fellow who shuffles the Monty. There are rules. One of the rules says that there's only supposed to be one ball in the game. Another rule says that if that ball is here, then it really shouldn't show up over here. That's a rule. There's also... There's also a rule that says that if a ball goes out of the game, then that ball should stay out of the game. That is, of course, a sub-rule to the big rule, which says that whether or not the ball is in the game, that's never supposed to happen. Oh. Never. <laughs> well, I learned the Monty. I mastered it, because I figured if I mastered it, I'd never have to throw a fastball. I could win on my terms. Oh. Yeah. And that reminds me. I gotta go see a guy at a, at a place about a, a, a thing. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't be shy, ladies and gentlemen. Give it one more try. No hidden tricks. It's so simple, even a kid could do it. With about 10 years of practice. Which is what I'm willing to give to you, sir. Come on, you long, tall drink of water. Give it one more chance. It's for the kids. Love this job. I should have known that was your bouncing money. How you doing? Isn't that a great game? Oh, I love it. Yeah, but see, it's not the money. It's this little magician's reel. That's what makes it work. I love this stuff. You know, I've loved magic ever since I was a kid. Oh, what yeah. What is this, a magic prop? Yeah, it's a, that's a magician's reel. You want to try it? Really? It's a lot of fun. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what you you, you got you to gotta, you gotta stick some money on the end of it. Yeah. A bill. 
Oh, 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 yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, you got a 50. Oh, it works great with a 50. Great. 50s are funny. Oh, huh? very, very, very there funny. You go. Oh, it. you'll love this. You'll love this. So you just stick it on the, yeah. the end of the thread like that, oh. and then you see that red button? Well, that's what makes it work. Oh, that's so cool. You hook yourself a sucker. <laughs> you want to try it? Can I? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Here, you hold the reel. All right. Here, oh, get that on the... Put that on the bill. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, this out here. Okay. Right there. Okay. And then, then we wait for someone to come by. And then we hook ourselves a sucker, <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Here, let's get behind here so no one can see us. Chasing Wendell. Here. Oh, this is going to be great. Look, she's going for it. Okay. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. I am. Push the button. I'm pushing. Press, press, no, no, no. Push it. I'm pushing. Push, push the button. I'm pushing the button. Look, I'm pushing it. No, no, no. Now, 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 now. Push, push. It's not working. Push. Harry. Why isn't it, why isn't it working? I'm supposed to be. Oh. Harry, it's not working. Oh, gee. Oh, man. I did what you told me. You told me to push it down. Oh, gee, you pressed it awfully hard, huh? Uh, I did? I... Yeah, I think you jammed it. Oh, man. I... Oh, Harry. It looks like it's broken. Oh, I didn't mean to break it, oh, man. Oh, no, that's that's okay. Maybe I can get it fixed. Well, Harry, listen. Let me let me let me pay for it. Oh, th these are expensive. Well, well you know, it's what a professional you... crop. I, I, I mean, got, I got some coin well, here. Well, it, it could cost as much as uh, sixty-five dollars. Harry, this is I got sixty-five dollars. Well, well, well. Thanks, here. John. Thanks very here, much. Why don't you just oh, well, take that thanks, thanks. little token? I'm yeah. sorry, Harry. Well, uh, listen, I got I got to run, but the, uh, yeah, but. Thanks for the hey, lesson. Great seeing you, Jeff. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Good fishing today. Hang on to your wallets. Harry's coming back. And now, something very special. But, uh, but first, uh, I'll be right back. Hey. Hey, I know you folks have to feel left out not being here. I got a card trick just for you. I love this trick. I do. I do it all the time. I lose a card every time I do it. I started out with a full deck, but I haven't been playing with a full deck for some time now. I've only got uh, six cards left, which means I've done it, uh, well, I've done it 46. Well, we'll call this one 47, okay? All you have to do is mentally select one card. That's all you have to do. Think of one card, any card. You can change your mind if you like. Don't mention to anyone else you're with which card you're thinking of. If you already did that, then change your mind, think of another card, and keep your pie hole shut, okay? Think of a card, change your mind if you like, but now settle on one. One card, okay? You think I can find your card? Let's see. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I did. You tell me. Is your card missing, huh? Did I get it, huh? I thought so. Wish me luck on 48. It's called ventriloquism. It's a craft, and it's an art, and it's an enviable profession. Remember how we all had an imaginary playmate when we were very young? Well, what I admire most about this guy is that he has managed to keep that friend his whole life long. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two and only Mr. Jay Johnson. Thank you. One of the most popular acts on television today are untrained animals from the San Diego Zoo. And, um, and I, I think this is great, because they don't have to do anything, and I have to spend a lot of time training them. So I went to the zoo. <laughs> I got an animal. It's in this protective case. So I'm going to just bring the animal out, let the animal do what it does. If that works on television, it ought to work right here on television. So <laughs> don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. monkey from, from the San Diego Zoo. We're, uh, we're gonna let him get used to the surroundings here. Actually, the monkey is one of our most um, uh, interesting animals at the zoo. They are our closest living relative to the animal kingdom. They are uh, one chromosome different than the human being. They're very curious animals. I think the fact is the monkey is not as, uh, not as intelligent as people think. Actually, the monkey has a brain capacity of a five-year-old child. 
the human brain, of course, is uh, five times larger. We are into esoteric concepts, the radical reason. Uh, of course, the monkey is simply into uh, in, in, um, <laughs> instinctive behavior and seems to do what it sees uh, others doing. Uh, the fact is that, that one day, uh, the, the sound, uh, the, the sound that a monkey makes actually uh, is, is a primitive form of language. <laughs> and uh, it is a monosyllabic language, actually. Uh, we have 48 phonemes. The, the monkey simply has uh, as one. And uh, <laughs> they can actually communicate with that, uh, uh, what, uh, what, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, they can actually communicate, and one day that will turn into a language. It'll take about a million years. We don't have time to wait on that tonight, but... Oh, yeah! Thank you! Thank you! You can talk. Good, yeah. You sticking out all by yourself to that great big brain? Good, you're an animal. I'm an animal. All right, all right, all right. What is your name? Huh? What is your name? Darwin. <laughs> That's an interesting name. How'd you get that? Just these laws. <laughs> That's a monkey joke. All right, all right. Because I'm a monkey. All right, all right. Show business. I'm an animal! Okay. <laughs> Our whole family's in show business. Y'all to see my family tree. No, the family's still there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monkey joke! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I guess you'd like to be more like a human being. What? I guess you'd like to be more like a human being. No way, nan, uh-uh. Taking eight hours just to shave. <laughs> <laughs> That's a human joke. We got it. <laughs> I am a singing monkey. I sing, therefore, I am. <laughs> Intellectual joke, anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna sing a song now in my native tongue. You will not understand the words because I won't say it in my native tongue, so I'll act it out. So then you children can understand. <laughs> Give me that song in the key of Chin Tan Si. <laughs> <laughs> sudden gust of wind as the ball traveled through space, the final frontier. Well, what I want to know is, are you man or machine? Let's find out. Hey, Harry, how about a picture? No, yeah, okay. It's self-focusing. Oh. Wow, my picture with Beta. Thanks, Brent. You're the best. My pleasure. Live long and whatever. They'll never believe you when you tell them who took that picture. Uh, you don't happen to have change for a hundred, do you? Sorry, Daddy Warbucks, no can do. Is it, is it someplace I get change? Yeah, you see that sign over there that says change? <laughs> well, I guess it's worth a try. Hey, uh, Brent, you know, I think I can break that hundred for you. Oh, yeah? I bet I can. Let's see here. You got a, you got one, two, three. Gee, it's getting late. What time have you got? Uh, almost ten. Ten, really? Ten. Gee, eleven, twelve. 13. You know, I bet you'd rather have some 20s here. You look got, oh, look at that. No 20s. Not a 20. 21, 22, 23. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here, Harry? What, what, what do you mean? You give me all your change, you're not going to have any for yourself. Oh, oh, well, that's okay. I, 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 I... No, 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 no. Take this. No, believe me, Brent, it's not that much. Yeah. I'll just uh, get some from the place that says change. Uh, excuse me. 
Yes? Uh, could I, uh, could I get some change, please? Change for a hundred? Hey, no problem, cutie. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four. Say, handsome, you know, I'm out of here at 11. Oh, really? 11? Mm-hmm. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. I'll bet you'd rather have 20 than all these singles, wouldn't you? Here's a little something you might like. Grappler free. <laughs> Oh, 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 what a shame. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Boy, I'm in trouble now. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. You know, the funny thing about magic is I can take a $100 pen, a $100 bill, and do something like that and really not get the effect I get from taking a 59-cent pen and doing something like that. Oh, Oh, golly, that hurts. Parents, was that in bad taste? You think that was in bad taste, huh? I don't think so, no. Bad taste is more like this. Bad taste, and it tastes bad, too. How do I accomplish these things? I have the hands of mystery. Born of normal parents. You know, there are guys in this world who make their living doing nothing but unexpected things with their hands. Some of those guys are called pickpockets. And some of them are called jugglers. Tonight we have, uh, well, I got my wallet, I got my watch, so apparently tonight we invited a juggler. <laughs> Here to demonstrate that gravity is not just a good idea, it's the law. <laughs> Please welcome the remarkable Mr. Peter Davison.
Harry Anderson. By this point, it should come as no surprise that I need help. So, who's, uh, well, let's, well, you're the only one not raising your hand. Give her a hand. What's your name? Marsha. Marsha. Welcome. Do we have any other chairs? Here we go, here we go. A little forward, a little forward, a little forward, a little. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Fine. Hi, Marsha. Hi. Hi. We're going to do a trick. Want to do a trick? Okay. It's a magic show. Let's do a trick. What do you say? Only this time, you be the magician. You'll be the magician. You'll be the worldly, clever, slightly smarmy magician, and I will be the, <laughs> the young, innocent, unsuspecting assistant, okay? okay. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, here, take the cards and take the pen. And you don't have to be nervous, because I'll cue you. I'll tell you what to say and what to do, okay? Okay. Okay, so, uh, to begin, um, you say, uh, say, you want to do a card trick? Want to do a card trick? I'd love to. I just, I would love to. Swell. Swell. I have these cards here. I have these cards here. Take them. Take them. Shuffle them. Shuffle them. Okay. <laughs> Boy, I love card tricks. My, you shuffle well. My, you shuffle well. <laughs> it's a pleasure to watch a man shuffle large cards. <laughs> it's a pleasure to watch a man shuffle large cards. I cannot deny I am getting a bit excited. <laughs> Do I need to repeat it, Marsha? I can't deny I'm getting a bit excited. Me neither. <laughs> what now? Pick a card. Pick a card. Any card. Any card. OK. Show your card to the audience. Show your card to the audience. <laughs> While I turn my head. <gasps> While I turn my head. <laughs> I can't see. So I can't Cause see. Because I wouldn't want to be accused of cheating later <laughs> by having peeked at it. <laughs> now take this pen. Now take this pen. Which I've taken the cap off of. Which I've taken the cap off of. <laughs> Sign your name upon the card. Ooh, you smell nummy. <laughs> Sign your You too. Thank you. <laughs> Sign your name upon the card. Sign your name upon the card. Okay. Not easy without a spell checker, but I'm going to go for it. Okay. Once again, show your card to the audience. Once again. While I keep my head turned, because I wouldn't want to be accused of cheating. Once again, show your card to the audience. <coughs> now. Shuffle the cards yet one more. Shuffle the cards yet one more time. Which corner am I supposed to be doing this? <laughs> this doesn't seem effect. This is wrong, isn't it? Shuffle the cards yet one more time. Now shuffle the cards yet one more time. <laughs> now. Now. No, yeah, I can't. <laughs> Do you know what has happened? Do you know what has happened? Well, you do smell good. Do you know what? Um, your card has disappeared. Your card has disappeared. I don't believe you. <laughs> Look for yourself. Look for yourself. Could it be true? <laughs> oh, oh, be still my heart. <laughs> it's disappeared. My card has disappeared. Show the audience that, in fact, your card has disappeared. Show the audience that, in fact, your card has Look, disappeared. Look, she's not kidding. <laughs> it's really disappeared. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Your card has taken a magical journey. Your card has taken a magical journey. Do you know where to? Do you know where to? I haven't any idea. <laughs> Boy, you're going to be surprised when you find out. Boy, you're going to be surprised when you find out. <laughs> It's under your butt. It's under your butt. No, it's under your butt. <laughs> it's under your butt. It's under your butt! <laughs> and toasty warm. Give out, give out, give out. Give her a hand. Okay, all right.
right. Well, you know, that, as they say just about everywhere, is that. We got to pretty much wrap things up. Before we go, though, I do want to give a real special thanks to the very special folks who help make this special so special. <laughs> Marky Post and John Ritter and Peter Scolari and Brent Spiner, Tim Stack and Jack Kenny. I want to thank them all. I want to thank the amazing Jay Johnson, the remarkable Peter Davison. I want to thank them all. And the cast of Dave especially J.C. Wendell, the lovely and beguiling J. J.C., that's what? I'll be right back. Yeah? Hi, hi, I know you're busy, but um, I'm gonna try to catch the last flight to Vegas, so did you want to settle up? Oh, oh, sure. Uh, well, now, you, you gave all the profits to the uh, Starlight Foundation, right? Uh-huh, yes, absolutely, and they send a huge thank you. Okay, then you just owe me the kick. The... the kick? The money I gave you to start with. Oh, oh, <laughs> that. That, right. Well, there was dinner with Brent Spiner. <laughs> there was the outfit for the change booth. There was the babysitter. Babysitter? You don't have kids. Right. And I'll have to take a cab. So that pretty much brings it uh, to... Are you telling me there's no money left? No, no, Harry. Don't be silly. Here. That's it? Would you prefer it in change? Oh, yeah, just go. Go, <laughs> go, go. Hey, what's this? N no, 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 that's... Oh, that's. Uh... this is nice. Oh. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> See you Monday. B but I... Where did she learn that? You know, folks who cobble the scratch, they're the ones who print currency outside the U.S. Treasury. <laughs> They'll tell you that the secret to a great fake is having right rag. That's paper with the, with the correct weight and color and feel. Well, that's fine for them. But to a wise guy, of course, Money isn't about paper. It's about possibilities. Maestro. Crime may not pay, but the hours are great. <laughs> Real artistic, real artsy, craftsy stuff.